All right, unit six, lesson one, the relationship between quantities. I can think of ways to solve some more complicated word problems. All right, so we've got a state park charges an entrance fee based on the number of people in a vehicle. The car contained two people and it charged $14. Then they did four people and it charged $20. Then it was eight people and they charged $32. Okay, so I need to think about what's happening here. So to get two more people in, the increase is $6. So I'm thinking it's $3 per person. So that means that the car That means that it would be two times three plus something is gonna equal 14. So that's something, so this is six plus something equals 14. So I it's eight, so it's $8 for the car, for the actual vehicle to park, okay? So, if they want to figure out 30 people, I would take 30 and multiply it by 3 and add 8. So that would be $98 per person. So, or for the 30 people going in in some sort of bus. So if a bus is charged $122, so if I have 2 times something, don't know what it is, and I'm adding eight for the bus, and that's gonna equal 122. So I need to think, what would I plug in there? Well, I know it's gotta be more than 30, so let me guess 40. So two times 40 plus eight, or not two, it'd be three. Goodness gracious, where am I at? So three times 40 would be 120, plus eight would be 128. So it's gotta be less than 40. So I'm gonna guess 39. Three times 39 is gonna give me 117, 100, no, yeah. 117 plus 8 is going to be about $125. So that's too big. So it's got to be 38 people. So 38 people. So I keep guessing and testing. I'm trying it out, I'm trying different numbers. So what is the rule that they used? Three times the number of people plus eight for the vehicle. Okay, a sandwich store charges $20 to have three turkey subs delivered and $26 to have four delivered. So that's 20 equals three and 26 equals four. Well, they wanna know if this is proportional. So four divided by three would give me 1.3 repeating. Is 20 times 1.3 repeating 26? No, 20 times 1.3 repeating does not equal $26. So how much does the store charge for one additional sub? Well, I know I have $20 for three and I know 26 for four, so it's $6 for each sub. Okay, so if I'm describing the rule, that would be in this example where I have four subs it would be six times, I should use a dot, six times the number of subs is 
is equal, or and then we'd have to add, right? Add two. So plus two for delivery. Because six times three would be 18 plus two is 20. Six times four is 24 plus two would give me 26. So that would be my rule. For the next one it says in a football team, the ball has four chances to gain at least 10 yards. If they don't gain at least 10 yards, the other team gets the ball. The positive um, numbers represent a gain and the negative numbers represent a loss. Select all the sequences of four plays that could result in the team getting to keep the ball. Okay, so I have 8, negative 3, 4, 21. So I'm going to add all my positive numbers together. So it's 12, 12, 13. So 33 minus 3, so that's 30 yards right? So A works. So now I'm going to check B. So that would be 30, negative 7, negative 8, negative 12. So I'm putting all my negatives together so I can add them because they have the same sign. So that's 15, 16, 17. So that's 27 negatives and 30 positives. My signs are different. I subtract and take the sign of the larger absolute value. So that would give me 3 yards. So B is out. Let's try C. So I have 2, 16, negative 5, negative 3. So I have 18 over here and negative 8 over here. So my signs are different. I subtract, so I get 10 yards. It says that as long as I get 10 yards, at least, that means that includes the 10. So C works. The next one says, which equation cannot be answered by the equation 3x equals 27? So 3 times 27. So Elena read 3 times as many pages as Noah. She read 27 pages. How many did Noah read? So if I was going to solve this problem, I know that this, the x, is equal to 9. So Elena read 3 times as many pages as Noah. She read, she read 27 pages. And then she, she read three times as many pages. So three times Noah's pages. So three times nine equals 27, so A is good. B, 20, Lynn has 27 stickers. She gives three stickers to each of her friends. How many friends did Lynn share? How many friends did Lynn share her stickers? Um, with how many friends did she share? So I'm dividing by three and I get nine, so that's good. So if I'm looking at it, I'm getting the right answer there. But when I look at it, that's division and this is multiplication. But they're asking for the question that cannot be answered, so that's true. Okay, Elena read three times as many pages as Noah. She read 27. Okay, Diego paid $27 to have three pizzas delivered and $35 to have four pizzas delivered. What, what is the price of each pizza? Well, that doesn't make sense because tw um, 27 divided by 3 would be 9, but 35 divided by 4 would not be nine, so I'm thinking it's C. And then the last one, you have a team of 27 split into three groups. How many kids are in each group? Nine. So I'm going with C. The relationship is not proportional. So the last one, it says Jada and Priya are trying to solve an equation 2 thirds plus x equals 4 thirds. Jada thinks that they should multiply each side by 3 halves because of the reciprocal, that's the reciprocal of 2 thirds. Um, Priya says that they should add negative 2 thirds to each side because that's the opposite of 2 thirds. 
which person strategy should they use and why? Well, if I'm adding, the opposite of addition would be subtraction or using the opposite. So we're going to use Priya's strategy. The opposite of addition is subtraction. So write an equation that can be solved using the other person's strategy. So that would be 2 thirds x equals 4 because you're using multiplication. So to undo that, you would use the reciprocal or divide. All right, for your cool down today, you are going to come up with what a good price would be for the popcorn. So you're going to choose one of my options and a reason why. So you need to... <clears throat> You need to think what would make sense in this situation. It's not going to be perfectly correct. This is more of a guesstimate than an actual answer. And for your final directions, if you need more help, get on Canvas. If you need to hear somebody else, Mr. Morgan teaches it. If you need help from another peer, email a study buddy. And if you need, if you have specific questions or um, some part doesn't make sense, make an appointment with me on Calendly. Thanks so much. Have a great day.